Ethiopia is a fascinating country in Africa with diverse culture, traditions, languages, landscapes, volcanoes, highlands, and rich history and historical sites, unique calendar and time, and a lot more mesmerizing uniqueness. We have collected 40 amazing facts about Ethiopia. Enjoy! 1. Ethiopia is mentioned 40 times in the Bible, and it is one of the few countries mentioned in the Bible, the Quran, Homer's Odyssey, and many other ancient books. Ethiopia is home to nine UNESCO World Heritage Sites, more than any other country in Africa. UNESCO has also recognized and inscribed four intangible heritages. Hence, Ethiopia has a total of 13 UNESCO recognized heritages. Many historians agree that Ethiopia is one of the oldest countries in the world. It's generally agreed that Ethiopia developed as a country in 980 BCE. Ethiopian distance runner Abebe Baikila was the first black African to win a gold medal in the Olympics in 1960, and he ran the marathon race barefooted. He won the race again in Tokyo four years later and became the first person to win the race twice, setting a world record. Ethiopian Gerarda Tulu is Africa's first black female Olympic champion in the 10,000 meters final at the Barcelona Olympics in 1992. Coffee was first discovered by an Ethiopian goat herder named Kaldi in the Kaffa region of Ethiopia. Ethiopian Emperor Menelik II was the first black African to drive a car, in 1907. The earliest instance of human ancestors using tools has been traced to Ethiopia. Aksum, in Ethiopia, is famous as a claimant to the final resting place of the Ark of the Covenant, the chest containing the Ten Commandments God gave to Moses. Ethiopia was the first African nation to join the League of Nations. The first Muslim call to prayer was done by an Ethiopian named Bilal Ibn Rabah. Ethiopia is source of the Blue Nile, contributing around 85% of the water during the rainy season to the longest river in the world Nile River. Ethiopian female pilot Asejadek Asefa is the first African female to fly an airplane. Ethiopia is called the roof of Africa. More than 70% of Africa's mountains are found in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is also called the water tower of Africa, as there are 12 major rivers flowing from the high rainfall areas of the mountains. Ethiopia is the only country in Africa with its own original, an ancient written alphabet and script that is still in full use. Ethiopia has been described as a museum of peoples because of its long history and vast diversity with more than 80 different ethnic groups. The sun dictates time in Ethiopia. Ethiopians rationalize that the clock should start when the day does. The sunrise marks the beginning of the day, and the sunset marks the end of the day. According to legend, a piece or relic of the true cross on which Jesus Christ was crucified is found in Ethiopia. Mescal celebrates the true cross in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is Africa's oldest independent country, and is one of just two African countries that have never been colonized. Ethiopia defended its independence as Ethiopians fought the colonizers and defeated them. 
Many African countries adopted flags with the same colors as Ethiopia's green, red and yellow because Ethiopia was the first African country to defeat a European power militarily. The trio color was adopted by many as symbol of freedom and independence and independence movement. The Rastafarians also adopted it, yeah? Ethiopia is one of the early Christian countries in the world. Tuahedo, or the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, is one of the oldest forms of Christianity in the world. It came to Ethiopia from Egyptians Coptic Church around AD 330. Ethiopia was country of the first Hijra, Hydra, when the first Muslims arrived in the country in 615 as refugees and were taken in and protected by the Christian king of Aksumite Empire, the current Ethiopia. Ethiopia was the birthplace of the Organization of African Unity, now the African Union, in 1963 when Pan-Africanism was transformed to unity with the leadership of people like Emperor Hale Selassie, Julius Nyerere, Kwame Krumah. Gada system is an indigenous democratic socio-political system and the social, political, and cultural reflection of the Oromo people in Ethiopia and northern Kenya and inscribed as UNESCO Intangible Heritages in 2016. No family name in Ethiopia. Traditionally, Ethiopian parents and children do not share a last name. Ethiopia's official working language is Amharic, but there are over 82 languages and 200 dialects, or variations, spoken in the country. Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, is highest capital city in Africa on list of national capitals ordered by elevation. Ethiopia is the largest landlocked country by population with a population of around 110 million people. Raw meat is considered delicacy by many in Ethiopia despite doctors warning that eating uncooked meat can have serious health implications. Still large amounts of raw meat are eaten during ordinary days at weddings, festivals, and other special occasions. According to legend, Ethiopia briefly had a Jewish queen, Queen Judith, Judith, who ruled parts of Ethiopia in the 10th century. She was claimed to be warrior queen who also burned down many churches. The first globally recognized female African head of state was Ethiopian Queen Zudatu, who was the Empress of Ethiopia from 1916 to 1930. Ethiopia follows different a calendar with 13 months consisting of 12 months of 30 days each and a 13th month of 5 days or 6 days during leap year. Dalil in Ethiopia is the hottest inhabited place on earth. It can be found in the very heart of the Danakil Depression. The Danakil Depression is the hottest place on earth in terms of year-round average temperatures. It is also one of the lowest places on the planet, 116 m below sea level, and without rain for most of the year. It is one of the most incredible places on planet Earth. Ethiopia has the longest existing lava lake called Erta Ale. The Erta Ale volcano in Ethiopia holds the longest existing lava lake, existing since 1906. It is the world's lowest lying volcano. It is known locally as the gateway to hell because of its searingly hot temperatures. The Erta Ale volcano derives its name from the Afar language and is translated as the Smoking Mountain.
Teth, the grain used to make the Ethiopian staple injera, is an ancient grain believed to have originated in Ethiopia between 4000 BC and 1000 BC, and is rich in calcium, phosphorus, iron, copper, aluminum, barium and thiamine, Ethiopia is the home of the black Jews, known as the Falashas, or Beta Israel. Beta Israel which means House of Israel, or Community of Israel, are also known as Ethiopian Jews. Various legends claim they are a lost tribe of Israel, or descendants of King Solomon. So they are Jewish community that developed, and lived for centuries in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is known as the Cradle of Mankind. The oldest hominid fossils ever discovered were found in Ethiopia and date from 4.2 million years ago. The more well-known fossil remains, Lucy, a 3.2 million year old fossil skeleton of a human ancestor, was also discovered in 1974 in Hadar, Ethiopia. By the way, do you know why it is called Lucy? Leave us comment. And see the answer in the video description. The EGRD will be the biggest dam in Africa on its completion.